Hi, we're talking about our pewters today. Uh, a lot of people have questions about which ones they should use, and hopefully this will help you select which one you'd like to choose. Uh, we've recently changed the size of our ingots. They're now 3 quarter inch by 1 and 1 half inch by 4 inches long. They still weigh 1 pound, but we found that it's easier for people with smaller pots to use these. Um, you can notice that they're all very similar in color. It's a high tin content, and the, you can notice the gold is also part of the tin. As they uh, age, they will gain a patina. Some people like to accelerate that patina by using acids or a patina chemical. Generally, um, if you're new to casting, you're not gonna find very much difference between the three. However, there are some differences. The R98 has a high bismuth content, and a lot of people like to use that when they have fine detail casting. Um, as it cools, it doesn't pull back from the mold as much and will leave those fine details in your figures when you're done. The R92 has a high amount of antimony, and that's going to give it a bunch of more strength. So people like to use this for something like a belt buckle, and that will stay stronger longer. And finally, the AC, that has a quarter percent of copper uh, in addition to the high amount of antimony like the R92. And in the long run, that gives you uh, more malleability and the ability to do more forming once you've finished with your uh, casting. Generally, the pouring temps are similar. Uh, the R98 is, because of the bismuth, will have a lower pouring temperature, somewhere between 500 and 550. The AC and the R92, the antimony is going to cause that to go higher, and generally between the 550 and 600 range. Um, as long as you don't get them too hot, uh, these pewters are reusable. Uh, you can just put it back in the pot and start from scratch. Uh, if you do have any questions, you can give us a call or send us an email at sales at rotometals.com and we'll be happy to discuss anything with you.